This is a quote. Literally everyone on Earth will die. <laughs> Would you agree that does not sound good? <laughs> Your delivery, Peter, is quite, it's quite something. It sounds crazy, but is it? Go ahead. Uh, thank you. On artificial intelligence, 1,000 of the world's smartest people are saying that AI <coughs> pose profound risks to society and humanity. They want you guys to regulate it. Will you? You're talking about the letter that was released yesterday? More than 1,300 tech industry leaders, researchers, and others are now asking for a pause in the development of artificial intelligence to consider the risks. Twitter and Tesla CEO Elon Musk and Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak are among those who signed a letter calling for a six-month break in the race to develop more powerful AI. So, uh, look, it highlights a number, uh, a number of challenges addressed directly uh, in, uh, in the administration's blueprint for an AI uh, Bill of Rights, which was released last October, as I'm sure you've been following, Peter. It includes <laughs> principles and practices AI creators can use to ensure uh, protections related to safety, civil rights, civil liberties, or are integrated into AI systems from start to finish. Uh, right now, there's a comprehensive process that is underway to ensure a cohesive federal government approach to AI-related risk and opportunities, including how to ensure that AI innovation <laughs> and deployment uh, proceeds with appropriate pr prudence and safety foremost in mind. And so we're going to, I don't have anything to announce at this point, at this time, but there is a comprehensive process in place. So announcements aside, there is now a, uh, <coughs> there's an expert from the Machine Intelligence Research Institute who says that if there is not an indefinite pause on AI development, this is a quote, literally everyone on earth will die. <laughs> Would you agree that does not sound good? <laughs> Your delivery, Peter, is quite, it's quite something. It sounds crazy, but is it? Uh, all I can say is that there's a comprehensive process in place. We put out a blueprint back in October, as you know. I don't have anything to share. Uh, we have seen the letter. We understand what their concerns are. Uh, again, a comprehensive process. We're going to let that, we'll let that flow. So is President Biden worried? that artificial intelligence could become self-aware. Look, we are, again, there's a comprehensive process. Uh, we are taking this very seriously. We put our blueprint out uh, back in October. I just don't want to get ahead of our findings and what, that, uh, what that's going to look like. Uh, but it is a cohesive federal government approach to AI-related risks, as you just laid out in a very dramatic way, uh, but clearly, is there <laughs> anything trying... more dramatic? I than mean, you just read it. Literally, in everyone that... on Earth will die. Pretty, pretty dramatic. Pretty dramatic. Um, <laughs> we're gonna move on. But thank you, Peter. Thank you for the drama. Go ahead. <laughs> 